I'm Fraser. I'm Sean. And what do you guys do here? We are the Deputy the Technical, technical man. Managers. <laughs> <laughs> so basically the Deputy Technical Managers, we are, we are in charge of all technical aspects of the shows that come in. Depending on which one is his own, we'll either take a job each or we'll rock, paper, scissors to see who actually gets the day. Whatever it is for that particular show. <laughs> that looked awful. <laughs> yeah, he did, I mean. Before I was employed, I actually went to I was a volunteer for a year and uh, I'd actually just lost a job. So it actually got me still in the spirit of keeping into a job and getting up in the morning, I've got something to get up for. So yeah, it did actually help me with that a wee bit. I can't say much, I've been doing this for a living for the last 12 years, so I've never really volunteered anyway. Um, Certainly some of our volunteers come in for banter. Ah, a lot of us have the banter. A lot of them come in just for the you know, social aspect, it yeah. keeps them busy. Uh, name's Cameron Dobson. And what's your, your nickname here? Yeah, uh, Tank. And why is it called Tank? Uh, because I was joining the army. Oh, nice. So, uh, so what do you do here? Uh, backstage crew. All right. So mainly backstage in the wings, or what's what? What do you backstage, usually get signed? Backstage lights, phone spots, and sound. Just depends on what's needed done. Um, and do you think that volunteering or working here, when people have stuff going on at home or stressful jobs, is a therapeutic environment? Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Well, you, you get to meet new people, see different shows that not many people would come and see. You've got the fun atmosphere, you're learning new stuff, <laughs> you've got a great bunch of guys backstage. What's your name? Natalie. So are you an employee or do you volunteer here? I volunteer. And why do you volunteer here, whereas you get another job somewhere else? <laughs> um, because it's close to where I live, so I can just like pop in and out like when they need people. Um, I've obviously I go to uni as well, so I've got that going on, and I do technical theatre at uni. So um, this just kind of helps me, like it, like teaches me more like of the practical stuff here. Mm -hmm. And for people who are like volunteer every now and then, who have stuff going on or stressed out, do you feel this is a good environment for them to be in? To yeah, work? yeah, it's pretty relaxed um, and like the staff are really nice, like, they're really friendly, so you, you get like a good experience, it's a really chilled vibe when you get come here. Every stage you'll get a fair amount of banter, or favourite of taking the piss, having a, jo having a joke, having a laugh. Most other theatres though, all the crew are paid, so even if they're not, the spirits are a bit down, you know, they're still getting the incentive that at the end of the week they're getting something out of it, whereas we don't completely have volunteers, so we need to do everything we can to make sure that they are completely, like, up for the job. Because yeah. if they're not up for it, they'll get no incentive to come back, really. Uh, so We try and make it as light-hearted as we can, because it, it is quite a stressful job, and I don't think people don't realise that. No. You know, you're the first people here, you're here before the end of the house, you know, and you're the last to leave. You know, you see, the, like, before actually production companies arrive, we're here for a good hour or so beforehand, yep. try to set up, then we set up with them, then we actually do the show, and then it comes down, and we're still here for another hour after it, tidying up and stuff like that. So it is, it's quite a long day, I mean, like, quite, quite a lot's asked of people sometimes as well, it can be physically demanding and yeah. stuff like that. So it's definitely, no, definitely no light job. No, mm -hmm. you've got to try and keep it as light hearted as you can. Right. Last question is, do you guys think it's very important to dry out a sponge after you finish washing your dishes? Or do you think it's kind of like, let it soak? Oh, I like it's it wet I get a squeeze, let the water drain it, and then I stick it in the wee bit and just leave it. Oh no, I just let it just drip. Well, ah, see, that's, that's how you get mildew, mate. You get a wee squeeze and get all the excess out and then dump it, mainly because I don't like the... Well, we're talking about sponge here, aren't we? So am I. It's just when you're saying squeeze and dump it. <laughs> You leave my love life out of this, aren't you? <laughs>